Hi, Joan. John from the Instant Film Society here. We're hosting Policon NYC May 17th through the 19th in collaboration with Polaroid and Brooklyn Film Camera. Is there any chance you'd be interested in hosting a talk, workshop, or demo on something Instant Film related this year? Let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Best, John. I was excited to be invited to participate for the first time at Policon New York City. Especially now that I am getting more into capturing Polaroids with my SX70. Thanks again, John, for reaching out and thinking of me to be part of this fun event. Here's a recap of what I experienced at Policon during the first two days. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, so, focus, shutter, what's this one? I have no idea. I'm... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a pro like the rest of y'all. Kyle, the owner of Brooklyn Film Camera, literally I was so hungry I didn't eat before my talk, so kudos to him for letting me eat before my talk and just being on the lookout for my health and sanity. So I appreciate that. Thanks, Kyle. Okay. Is that close enough? I get. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just get this. You're both drawing to my eyes. I want to give a big shout out to my friend Dan, who works at Brooklyn oh, yeah. Film Camera. He lent me his Polaroid I2 when it first came out, and during Polycon, he was capturing selfies with different people who attended the event. Uh, what? How far up? How are we doing? Uh, I just need to know if I need to take off my walkie-talkie. Your walkie? No, it's yeah. just a... Okay. Oh, yeah. you got the book. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Interesting. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I was excited to use the diamond prism, the instant optics from Brooklyn yeah, Film Camera. However, my exposure was off. I made it too dark. I want to give a big shout out to one of my closest friends, Paola, for assisting and being supportive during my first day at Policon. Feels right. And it's here like we silly go. Photos. John is taking a portrait of me with his Polaroid i2 camera. And funny enough, his photo of me was overexposed and me having no arms. Slowly but surely developing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even check what photos we took yet. Oh, this one's nice of me, Kyle. Oh. It's like a vintage look. Yeah, yeah, hold it. There's Dan. Aww. He has like the complimentary colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting how you have a highlight. Oh yeah, the purple? I wonder where that purple was coming from. Like a vintage Aww. also. You'd have to boost the exposure, right? Yeah, I would think so. Right? If you're not, it has a flash. If you're not shooting with flash, yeah, you yeah. Can Oh, this one's cool. Oh, nice. oh yeah. I, I don't like my face. So <laughs> We're all in the same. <laughs> oh, this cracked me up. This is like hidden in the archives. <laughs> I want to give another big thank you to Dan for helping out and being super supportive and watching the talk and literally being one of the kindest and sweetest souls that I know in my closest circle of friends. One of the best things about my friendship with Paola is that we always have a good time and that we laugh so hard together. And this photo that I took of her, unfortunately, also was underexposed. But again, it's just capturing the memories of spending time together. For my Polaroid competition submission, the theme was capture real life. And so I asked Laura, who is a part of Instant Film Society, to participate with my idea because I saw how hardworking she was for the event and she also helped me with my talk and so I wanted to capture a Polaroid of her because again, I think that's one of the biggest realities during this event that it takes a lot to coordinate and so once you take the photo you post it on the wall for everyone to see pretty much 
Here's a teaser from my talk about how I photograph on set with celebrities and how I was able to take also Polaroids of them. Thanks to my friend and fellow YouTuber, Mr. In an Instant himself, Ben, for moderating my talk. The rest of the video can be watched on my channel from the live stream section. Um, pushing analog stuff into a shoot um, that maybe is expecting you to bring a digital camera to do PTS. How do you get analog in there? Most of the shoots that I work on that are commercial, pretty much to this shoot, uh, the client usually wants digital like videos and photos. But for me, I would be surprised because many people actually are into analog photography. So when they see like a point and shoot camera or literally a Polaroid camera, they're just always like, oh, is that the camera that I see? And then they'll be like, oh, can you take a photo of me? And then it's a, just an icebreaker to talk about. And then I guess when they see my work, especially on Instagram, they're like, oh, she's actually really good. And I want her to take more photos. Here we go with day two of Policon. Right, so you've just given a successful talk at Policon. You're looking off, you can look up in the distance if you want or look at the camera, but you're just excited and proud maybe, I don't know. Or just, uh, or just uh, excited or you're relaxed that it's over, that could be. Okay, ready? All right. Three, two, one. All right, thank you. <laughs> Three, two, one. Day two was definitely much more overwhelming because there were just more people. It was the weekend, there was more activities, and I also had to prepare for being part of a panel of other guests that were more, I felt, informative about instant photography. But overall, it was fun, but I never really interact and socialize as much as I did that day. But again, it was oh. fun to collaborate and meet new faces. So the tab is always out. Okay. And then something will come out. That means it's loaded. That's what you have to do. Okay. This is Nadia, who is one of my good friend's daughter that I had the responsibility to take care of. And alongside with my friend Alex, who I have to also thank for helping me film day two. Oh! It did it! Now what? I have to like cover it? And so this was the first Polaroid that Nadia took during the event of Alex and yeah. it actually turned out pretty good. Much more than I think we all expected. We also brought Nadia's dog Bunny along for the okay, adventure ready? of Policon One, and... One, two, three, Bunny! Literally, she was one of the stars. Everyone wanted to photograph her at one point. I admire seeing all the talks and everyone who were just photographing each other. I feel like there's only two bags now, so there's like no choice. Oh, I haven't tried that one. Is it open right now? <laughs> we can go. Oh, okay, okay. It's all good, as long as I get one of you. I said he stole my photo. Thank <laughs> you. I'm happy that I finally got to meet Horace because I always recognize his name when I needed help for my 4x5 camera. And he's one of the nicest people that I met during the event. So Alex had a vision for his Polaroid capture real life submission for the competition. He wanted to have someone who would sit in the middle, which ended up becoming me. And then we were hoping that we would be able to get people to participate and would hold out their Polaroid cameras and have it surround me. And so we pretty much asked anyone who was around us if they would like to be a part of our creation and then it actually worked out so this is pretty much the process of how it happened.
once he got the photo, and then when you see the result, I felt that it was so amazing, not trying to be biased, but I just don't understand how Alex didn't win a prize from Polaroid. It's just mind-blowing. I smell like pizza. It's okay. Hi, who's taking a photo? Okay. Hi, Alex, how are you doing? Good, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a photo with this, and then okay. also with... A few days before PolyCon, I noticed that Brett followed me on Instagram and I couldn't believe it because I've always known of him but I'm the type of person who doesn't necessarily want to follow people unless they're people that I actually met and so I've seen him on YouTube let's say with Ben's videos but again I just felt honored that he looked at my profile and probably because of the panel he searched me and then decided to know who I am but again to have this Polaroid god notice me is again speechless you honestly just wait to stand there and I think Kyle and Ben can talk and I'm good just not the head <laughs> yeah exactly what they just said yeah, exactly. okay let's eat your pizza I appreciate you okay no problem we'll chat tomorrow okay sounds good if I had to say who I was really excited to meet, Brett was definitely one of them. And I'm glad that we got to take a photo together. I'm glad that I was able to take a portrait of Birgit, especially now that she has left filmography. I am just grateful for all the opportunities that she gave me. Yeah, nice to meet you. I was like, finally, like, I meet you in person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Doing, doing well. How are you enjoying the, the event? Good. Uh, had the talk yesterday. Yeah. And then. I think it's, uh, which one? Were you in there? No, I was here. Uh, with was ben. Oh, I was in there at the time. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't be in there. Yeah. There was one I missed, and I must have been that one. Oh, and then uh, the panel later with, yeah. with all of them. Yeah, but I didn't recognize you. I'm used to you with like a hat and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm little, like, this guy's all dapper. Up. Yeah. I decided to take a different route. I had a workshop yesterday, so I wanted like, hey, I probably should step up my game a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, tomorrow yeah. I'll be in the normal. In the normal. The normal just on the Chris Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Maybe that's why people like don't recognize yeah. you because they know you're like. It's true. Like, I was at San Francisco uh, Polacon this year, and yeah. I made sure to wear clothes that like I was in my videos, and it, it, that helped. Everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, yeah, stand yeah, out!" Yeah. So here are more in the shadows, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, someday you can like be laid back, and then and we're outside. So. Exactly, walking around can be a good time. Yeah. Anyways, so you're gonna be part of the vlog. Part of the vlog. Glad, glad to be a part of it. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. It's an honor, honor and a privilege, as Tom Cruise would say. I'm not talking to you, but you know. This way? This way? Uh, look, look this way. But then body wise. Yeah, body this way. Yeah, point the body this way. Yeah, yeah perfect. That's perfect. I love it. And then look, look, look more towards the Perfect. I love it. Oh, wait, hang on. Like, hang on. Wait, there we go. Let me bring this down. Alright, perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. First time that I was photographed with that backdrop. I got a sign? Yeah, autograph, baby! <laughs> yeah, this is a... I know, I just don't want it in the light. Oh, it's... it's awesome. Now I gotta get ready. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna live stream. Nice! Not to drop the essence. Oh. <laughs> this is it, SX7 or 68? Perfect. This is a SX7. Oh, okay. okay. It's been heavily modified. Yeah. This was already towards the end of the day, and I was already planning to go home and then have dinner, but then it was like out of nowhere, everyone all of a sudden reaches out and wants to take portraits. And then it's like you want to say goodbye properly and then everything gets postponed because now you have to go take photos and then so this is pretty much what ended up happening and of course I cannot say no I mean I could but I mean when do I get a chance to take another portrait with Ben and Birgit so again I appreciate all the people that I know and have met in the film community and 
this is just my many thank yous that I'm just always continue to say. And then one with the Polaroid. Yeah, Avi. Avi. It's not 600, but I was thinking of. What a way to end the day of Polycon by taking a portrait with the Fraternales. Wait, what, where's your microphone? I had it in my hand during the talk. Where's it right oh, now? Where is it? Oh. Right here. June, um, I, thank you so much for coming to Policon NYC 2024. Um, everyone back home is wondering, I don't know, what do you have to say about this experience? Um, who's the... Who's the person you met that you uh, that inspired you today? Laura inspired me. <laughs> no, seriously, I gave a shout out to her yesterday. She, you know, yeah. she's the anchor for us all. Lauren is our no. MVP. Is that why you were standing here? <laughs> I guess so. I'm just kidding. She, I, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap. Like a chicken Caesar, that's a wrap. <laughs> Boom. Too cheesy, too cheesy. It's the end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, it will help me in the long run. Okay, bye.